Hey guys, this is Matt Granger, that Nikon guy for MattGranger.com. I recently did a series of different videos on macro and using extension tubes. Um, I'll put together a little playlist of those so it's easy for you to find and you can click the link there to see them. But I got a lot of questions and I think it's a really interesting one, is what happens when you add extension tubes to a macro lens? So as I explained, um, extension tubes essentially put a distance between your sensor and the rear of the lens, which means the focusing distance comes in significantly and it also extremely reduces your depth of field. Now, a macro lens is like that too. As you focus in really close, the lens elements are moving towards the front of the lens away from the body, which brings the focusing distance right, right down. But you have to remember, it brings the whole focusing range down when you use an extension tube. It doesn't just bring the closest focus down, it brings the entire range down. So, whereas this lens can focus from infinity down to something like, I don't know, 30 centimeters or something like that. What is it? 29 centimeters. It also, when I add an extension tube, it's gonna bring that lower than 29 centimeters, no doubt, but it's also going to bring down the infinity right down. And you'll notice with this one, this is the 90 mil macro F2.8. It extends a good couple of inches before the front element. And it's quite likely because it's 29 centimeters from the sensor all the way through to you know, your subject, that when I put these extension tubes on, it's gonna to wanna to focus somewhere in this section of the lens where there's no elements, or indeed wanna focus right inside their lens. But we'll still get some sample shots and show you how it looks. So I've got the Kenko uh, three-part AF extension tube set. Fantastic, they retain all of the autofocus qualities of the lens, I really recommend them to you. I'll put links for everything below so you can find them. Um, they're made in Japan, just great. So I'm going to pick a flower here. Thankfully it's not windy today, so I won't have too much to compete with. And then see how close I can get just using the macro lens. Then start stacking up the extension tubes and just go crazy with it. So let's have a look. Whilst there's no wind, there is some ants out today. Okay, so this is a tiny little flower. I, sh I spoke too soon to say there's no wind. Some has just picked up, so I'm gonna move my bag to block what little wind there is and pick one that's really close to the ground so it has less of a stem to be caught up in the wind. And the white stripe on my bag can act as a bit of a reflector for me. Now that is one-to-one -one macro, it's just a tiny flower. Now the depth of field on this is already so fine, I'm interested to see how it's going to be trying to focus this uh, with an extension tube on. But let's go ahead and do it because that's what we're here to do. So the set comes with a 12, a 20 and a 36 millimeter extension tube. They're various sizes. So I'm gonna add the 12 first of all, which is the smallest one. And I have a feeling that the 12 already will be overkill, but let's just see how it goes. So again, closest focused and let's see how we're going now. Now I actually need to take the hood off because it's going over the flower and restricting the light. Uh, the depth of field is so insanely small. Let's go down to F20. And that has come in closer, definitely. Okay, now let's pop on the next size up, which is the 20 mil. Again, that's a couple of mil closer. Okay, next up, let's pop the 36 mil. Okay, now here you can clearly see how much closer we are. Okay, now let's get a little bit silly and pop them all on. Just see how much of a difference it's gonna make overall. Now for this one, I'm gonna go all the way to F64. Now I've got to admit, when I was shooting, it didn't feel like I was getting that much closer, but here with all the extension tubes on, it is a heap closer. To remind you how it was with no extension tubes on, that was the original shot just using the one-to-one -one macro lens. Okay, so it's certainly getting in closer using these, but not as profound a difference as you would have expected. Um, interesting to do the test though, so thank you to everyone who suggested that. I hope that was interesting. Check out the rest of the playlist. This is Matt Granger, that Nikon guy for MattGranger.com.